good morning and welcome back to the channel so i'm actually going to do something that's a little bit different i'm going to do my very first glue book i've never had a glue book before i've never really known what they were but um i've been doing a lot of digging around on the tube of the use and um i've been looking at them and watching them and essentially it's literally just gluing stuff that makes you happy that makes you smile and makes you feel good so i figured i would make one so i grabbed an old composition book um and i actually ripped out some of the pages because we're going to be gluing into this and i don't want to make it so fat that i can't function in it you know what i mean so I might actually continue to rip some pages out because I still feel like there is an awful lot in here and we might have too much. So I might still do that. But right now what I'm going to do is glue. And I'm going to go back to a blast from the past. I used to use bags to do all kinds of stuff because you can get them at the Dollar Tree and they're just gift bags. You can get ginormous gift bags at the Dollar Tree for, well, a dollar. Uh, this one I did not get at the Dollar Tree. I actually got this one at Tuesday morning. I just peeled off the little sticker because I try to use as much of this as possible. Um, so I've got the glitter part right here. Like this part is very glittery. Whee! And I love that. So what I'm thinking about doing is doing the front cover in Mr. Glitter here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And basically we're going to do um, the same thing that we do with any other book uh, board that we use and we create journals with. If you're not creating your custom cover, you normally wrap it. You wrap the book with your favorite paper, scrapbook paper, wrapping paper, you know, whatever. And think of it just like a present. You're wrapping your book, but you're just going to wrap the cover, not the whole thing. So I'm going to set this aside for now, um, somewhere. I am seriously running out of space on my desk. So... We're going to straighten this up a little bit, but I just want to get a general idea of where I need to be. So I'm going to flip this over. And I think that this is actually a really good spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this part here off and I'm going to cut this part here off. And then we're just going to lay it down. But I am going to straighten it up because I don't know about y'all, but my chomp chomp was not very straight straight. So let's grab the trimmer here. Open it up. Sorry, I have to flip it around. I have seen people that cut with this on that side and I just cannot do it. I don't know how they do it, but I can do it. All right, so let's make it straight first. And bloop, voila. All right, and then we'll do this side. And voila. Okay, I feel like that isn't straight because it moved. Now voila. Voila. I love the sound of that. Who loves listening to French? I love listening to French. It is one of my favorites, my favorite foreign languages to hear and to listen to. I don't understand a lick of it, but it's really cool to listen to. My favorite is Russian or any Slovak because I don't speak it, so it all sounds very similar to me. But any of the Slovak languages, um, Russian, I believe Polish, um, Czech, uh, Romanian, I believe, is one of them. But, oh my gosh, they're just so pretty. And, oh, they just sound really cool. Okay, so I now have glitter all over me. Surprise! So now what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take my glitter page. Oh, and I just said this, by the way. Um, just to kind of, because I didn't know what I was going to do with it yet. So I gessoed the, um, the watch my face to, I think I probably need to gesso this part too. I don't know. We'll probably just cover it up. Anyway, so I just gessoed it. That's it. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to push it almost to the edge. I'm not going to push it quite to the edge because I have different plans for the spine of the book. And yeah, looks good there. I probably don't need quite this much and I can use a lot of it um, later on, but I'm going to glue it down and then I'll figure out what I need, what I don't need. So I'm just going to use Mod Podge. Y'all don't see this container very often because um, I actually don't use Mod Podge very often, but it works really well for this particular project. Um, so I'm going to grab my brush. And we're going to glitter everywhere. Sorry, couldn't help it. All right. Um, I can grab from. There we go. That's what I want. And that's just parchment paper. Nothing special about that. You could also do um, like. Fabri-Tac if you wanted. You can do Fabri-Tac probably would have been a good idea, but that's okay. Because Mod Podge is very wet, but this is cardboard. So I think it'll be I. Right. And I hope you guys like the new videos. I've come up with quite a few new things that I'm introducing. Well, they're new to me anyway. Cheers. I don't really do a glue book, but I'm doing one now. Um, I think it'll be cool. So I kind of want to make sure that I get lots of glitter because I like shiny things. So and I know plenty of you are probably going to be like, but Tasha, you don't like glitter. I like the shiny of glitter. I don't like the fact that glitter gets everywhere. Um, and I have a solution, I think, for this. So all I'm doing right now is I'm pushing it down. I really don't want to just go like that because it really will get everywhere. And it's already everywhere. You should see my pants right now covered with glitter. I can hear some of you. Tasha, you don't like glitter. Mm, not really. I love the shine of glitter. I love the sparkle of glitter. I don't like the mess of glitter. All right, so we're going to flip this over. And we're going to miter the edges. And for those of you who don't know what that means, it just means cut the corners off. So I'm going to take my little miter tool here. Bloop. Like I so. And... There and bloop. Put there. Put my tool back so I don't lose it. I got that off of Etsy. Oh, a minute ago. I mean, it's been a long time since I got that off of Etsy. All right, so I'm gonna cut this right about there. And we're gonna keep this part here. Because I'm sure I can use this somewhere. It's a glue book after all, right? So, we're going to put that not right beside me. Okay. And we're going to cut these miters real quick. Okay, so... I don't know what day I'm going to be doing the glue book on yet. Um, this particular video is going to air on Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to dedicate Saturdays to the glue book because I really want to show you guys how I prep the glue book, but I really want to play in the glue book with you guys too. And I think, I 
I don't know if I'm going to make the first one like um, all Christmas or if I'm going to mix and match it or what. Right now, it looks very Christmassy. Just saying. Wintery. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Um, some of the magazines that I've obtained uh, were kind of pricey, actually. I was really surprised when I went to the store to get magazines. I was like, oh my gosh, these are like $16. You know what's really funny, though, is my husband brought me home a magazine. And this all started because I saw um, Nicole. Uh, oh my gosh, I don't know what her channel name is, but she's really cool. I love her attitude. It's amazing. But anyway, it all started because I saw a video of hers. And thank you, Melissa, because she introduced me to her. And so I subscribed to her and I started watching her and um, she does this glue book and I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounds really fun. And I never really knew what a glue book was. So that's when I started looking around and trying to find what it was. So anyway, long story short, I'm watching her play in her Christmas glue book and I was like, ah, Wayne, bring me home a magazine. I don't care what it is, just Christmassy something. So he brings me home this magazine. I start opening it up. I start tearing it apart. And I'm like, I've seen these images before. I think I ended up with the same magazine that she had. So I was like, eee, that's no bueno. So I wanted to go out and get another one. Um, I'm going to have to do this because I've got bubbles because I used Mod Podge. Mod Podge is very wet and it will cause bubbles in your paper. I didn't think about that. Obviously, I thought about the cardboard part because I was like, ah, it's cardboard, no big deal. But it will absolutely cause bubbles in your paper. So I'm just fixing that real quick. And I'm going to find something that I want to use. I have not pulled that out yet. I wanted to do that with you guys. Um, so I have a bunch of rice paper. Okay, let me grab. Okay, go on. Uh, it's so caked up that it doesn't, it's so caked up that it doesn't really want to twist or turn or anything. Okay, so I have a bunch of rice paper that I want to go through and see if we can find a nice, good Christmassy rice paper. Oh, I have another one of those. It's in the wrong spot. Okay. Um, so as you can see, I have multiples of rice papers. Uh, you actually can't see a lot of this. I thought you could see more of that. Okay. So I have multiples because I don't make one. I make 20 of whatever. Um, that's really pretty. Ooh, Arctic. Let's do Arctic because it's blue gotta do arctic all right so this particular one is from stamperia and for those of you who don't know i get my rice paper from an etsy shop called asc uh studios designs corporation something like that anyway her name is crystal and she is really cool she has no idea who i am i am just another customer to her um i'm sure i'm very small in the realm of her world um, but she is very cool. She's very like laid back, chill. Like I, I really like her. So I'm going to put this on top of this. And hopefully, I'm actually going to cut this and then save this part right here. Hopefully that will solve my dilemma with the glitter, but still give me sparkle. No idea if it's going to work. I've never put rice paper on glitter. So we'll see. Y'all get to come experiment with me. Boop, boop. Okay. So let's open the Mod Podge back up. Ooh. We actually did a lot in 15 minutes, 14 and a half minutes, really. Oi, oi, oi. Come, come. Okay. So we're going to put my. Ah! <laughs> Hold that. Put my paper back because I don't want that to happen. All right, so I really wanted to do this part with you guys, though, because for those of you who are like me and have no idea what a glue book is, 
you're probably like, well, how do you prep it? Uh, well, this is what I'm doing to it. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's, you know, what you're supposed to do, but this is what I'm doing. So there's going to be things that I do to the pages as well. Uh, this is just what I'm going to do to the cover. Well, at least this part of the cover. Um, and I think what I want is like wintry because I want to put Christmas in here, but I want to do other stuff too, you know, not just Christmas. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Christmas, but I want to put other stuff in here too. I would love it if you guys could send me stuff like from what you celebrate because I don't have stuff from other holidays because, well, we celebrate Christmas and so I have a bunch of Christmas stuff. But I would love to recognize other holidays that are out there, especially if they're important to you guys. You know what I mean? So send me links or pictures or, you know, they don't have to be tangible items. I can print them off myself. But let me know what you guys celebrate and I can, you know, recognize those as well. Oh, and don't forget, we're still doing the special quote of the day, if you will, for our December dailies. Um, so don't forget, if you haven't sent me a quote yet, uh, to send me a quote and I will be sure to feature that for you guys. All right. So I really want the Arctic world to show. So I'm going to put that as far up as I can. And we're just going to lay that right on top. I think this might've just covered the glitter completely. So I might've just wasted my time and put glitter all over the place for no good reason. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Feels nice though. I mean, the texture on it alone is really cool. I kind of wish you guys could feel that. All right. So I'm actually going to cover this with something else because I Mod Podge isn't my favorite thing to leave on the outside. Oh, I love using Mod Podge. Don't get me wrong. But it's not my favorite to, to seal, to seal with. So. Oh, come out. I'll put that there. Hopefully not ruin it. And I have one of these open somewhere. I know I do. There it is. I don't have a lot left. So I had to go on the hunt for more because I bought this at Amazon. Oy. Okay. Sorry. I was like bending over backwards, literally like that way. Anyway. Um, so I got this at, at Amazon, um, previously, but I went on the hunt and I couldn't find it anymore. So I was like, no. So I had to go find it. I actually found it on a, um, a furniture restoration Etsy shop. Like they specialize in furniture restoration, which I mean, Hey, I'm okay with that because I found it. And that's really all that matters to me. Cause that's my favorite so far. My favorite sealant. I love how it feels. I love how it coats everything so smoothly. It's just, it's really awesome. All right. So, don't see the glitter, but you still have that really cool texture. So I think it might have been worth it. Mm -hmm. Don't know yet. Okay. So what we can do here is take our sand block and pull that off. Wait. Oh, I have news for you guys. So I started talking to Wayne and um, because a lot, okay, not a couple, a lot of you have approached me and are like, are you coming back to lives? We really like your lives, you know, lives, 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 lives. So I think Wayne and I have found a middle ground. I think. So what I'm going to do is I knew I wanted to start a Patreon. I just didn't know what kind of content I was going to do. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a Patreon where I do lives. Like that is where I will do the lives is on the Patreon. Um, 
Oh, and you also have to be careful here because don't forget you wrapped this. So you don't want to scrub too much because then you'll just take the paper back off. So don't do that. Um, so anyway, I need another brush. Um, there we go. I need to find my other glue brush. So I created a Discord um, specifically for specifically for Journey of Crafting. And I created a channel. And so, like, we'll have different tiers of, um, obviously, different tiers of membership, you know, like most Patreon places do. And on different tiers, you'll be able to obviously get different things. Um, but one of those things will be having access to a Discord channel that will be open while I'm streaming live. So once I figure out how to do everything and set everything up, my Patreon will go live. Um, so, so far I have the Discord and obviously I know how to live stream because I've done it plenty of times. But, um, there we go. Oh, it is so pretty. I love, love, love this mat. All right. And as you can see, you don't really use a whole bunch of it. Like that will probably last me a minute. Um, I do put the rest in there because, well, this is my favorite. And put my glue top back on. And then, oh, that's not going to fit in there. Oi. Okay. But it does look kind of funny on my desk because this is how it looks on my desk. I have three of them. Because when I found them, I was like, ooh, I got to buy two. So I did. And now I have, I have three. But this one's almost empty, to be fair. So very fun. So anyway, um, that is this one here. And that's our cover to our glue book. And oh my god, it's so pretty. Uh, we're going to do something similar on the back. We'll probably just cover it with the back piece, which we can probably do. Um, yeah, no, we'll probably do that tomorrow because um, it's already over 20 minutes. I know you guys like the 20 to 30 minute videos, so we're going to go ahead and keep this really short and sweet and to the point. Uh, but in 20 minutes, we decide, uh, we created a glue book, basically, and made the cover to it. So isn't that cool? I love it. Anyway, you guys are amazing, and uh, let me know what you think about the Patreon, because I know a ton of you want me to do the lives, and I really want to do the lives. I loved engaging with you guys, so I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the Patreon where I do lives, and we're going to have different levels to where, you know, if you're at a certain level, then you can join our Discord channel, and you can be part of the lives with me, and I think that would be amazing. So let me know what you guys think, because obviously it's for you guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know your ideas, uh, thoughts, and comments, and just leave them in the description box below. Or you can email me. A lot of you guys have been emailing me or texting me via Facebook. Either way, it's okay. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye, guys.